Good morning, my friends. It's Sunday, August 21st, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. I'm still in my bedroom. My son is still out in the living room sleeping. And I, um, I also, believe it or not, finally have COVID. So I have some stuff in my lungs, but I'm just fine. It was a, bound to happen eventually. <laughs> and I have with me today a beautiful painting. This is by Atkinson Grimshaw. It is called Nightfall Down the Thames, Thames. It's London. What struck me the most about this painting is how the light falls on the water. How beautiful, mysterious and the light and the dark merging at that crossroads of twilight. Today is Sunday our day of worship. And I want to focus on this beautiful passage from the book of Jeremiah. God says to Jeremiah, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. I created you to be a prophet to the nations. I was pondering that. You know, scientists tell us that the genome is this amazing mystery of of strings of possibilities of what we could become. Francis Collins, a wonderful scientist and writer, says that God writes us into existence with our genome, like the logos, the word of God. The likelihood that you are exactly who you are is, is miraculous. All the people who had to be together before you in order for you to be born exactly as you are and all the possibilities that existed when you were created in your mother's womb, all the possible combinations of genes and you ended up just as you are. I think God forms each one of us in the womb and knows us before forming us. It's a, it's a beautiful mystery to ponder but if you were designed to be exactly who you are, then who are you? And what did God design you to do? Why were you born here on this earth in this time? What is your purpose? That's the question of our lives. That's part of our relationship of love with God is to answer. Thank you for making me, we say. I will serve you. I am here to use all the gifts you've given me to express my love for you and for the world. But what are those gifts? That's the question. How did God make you, specifically you? And what purpose do you have that is the purpose of no other person on this planet, on this day? Let us pray. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of this day and for the gift of life, for making us who we are. Help us to understand our gifts, our weaknesses, and how we can best serve you. And when we fail, forgive us. Lift us up, Lord, today to take steps towards our very purpose, our vocation, our calling, for you called us into being and into service. Bless the sick today, Lord Christ. Bless the dying, those who are lonely or afraid or alone. Bless those who suffer from addiction, mental illness. Bless those who find themselves lost and in need of purpose. Lord, give us peace today in this world. 
May each human being be called to their highest nature. And may we cherish this earth that you've given us. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who knew exactly who he was. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.